Hey, good morning guys. So in this video, I will attempt to integrate sine inside the bracket log x respect to x. So this is a very popular one. You know, most people are always asking me to make a video on this one. So, in the way, so in the way I'm going to approach this is to use two methods. First, by substitution to somehow manipulate the log x. And finally, I'm going to use um, integration by parts to complete the integral. So, well, let's see, what is my choice for, for the substitution? Well, look at log x. I have a feeling that this log x can be dealt with very nicely. So, suppose we let u equal log x. Now, taking the first derivative, du over dx, we get 1 over x. And therefore, replacing dx, dx would equal, multiplying across, x du. Now, you notice there's an x over there. How the hell do we deal with this? First, look at this expression. Immediately, we can make this in terms of x by taking the exponential on both sides. So taking the exponential, we're going to have e to the power u equal x. So x equals e to the power u. And replacing it here, we're going to have e to the power u du. And see, this has become very clean now. Thus, our integral for this equation is going to be replaced by replacing terms. The sine stays there. So we're going to have sine log x is u. dx becomes this, so eu power du. Okay, so here's our first step. Now we will integrate this one because you can tell that this equation will be recurring. If we select uh, u, in this case, not a different kind of u, for the integration by parts, and this is our v prime. You'll notice that this will re this will keep reoccurring as a cos u then eu sin u eu and this can be dealt with a great manipulation technique. So let's try this out. I'm gonna rub this board and continue from here. Okay, guys, we're back. So I just re I just put everything on the top line so you can just see it more clearly. Okay, so in this part we're gonna integrate by parts now, yeah. So this term over here, and now we need to select our u and v prime. So in this case, I will select this as u because as you differentiate, it's always gonna be eu. Of course, if you integrate, it still be u, but this would be easy to deal with. And this one, of course, would have to be my v prime. And for those who just who can't really remember how to integrate by parts, we'll be working, we'll be solving it by doing computing u v minus the derivative of u times v itself. And that's how we do it. Okay, so let's jump straight into it and integrate that by parts. So starting from here. We could say that this term equals so u is this one so we've got eu integrating sine u we're going to get a negative cos u subtract and differentiating eu so put the integral sign differentiating eu we're going to get eu integrating we just said is negative cos so just flip that to a positive we have cos u again i could just expand this completely Put negative sign here and put a cos u there. Okay, notice that we have to integrate this again. And if you would if you were to do the same method using integration by parts, we end up with a term like that. And that's exactly what we need to solve this. So continuing where we left off, eu cos u plus, and you integrate this by parts, we should get according to this one, this is u and this is v prime. We should get eu first. And integrating this one, we're going to get sine u minus. Now, differentiating this one, we still get a u. And lastly, integrating this cos u, we said it was just sine u, so sine u du. And that's it. If you notice something, we can see that the right hand term, of course, equals left hand term, but we can collect like terms. The integral of this part equals integral that. So if I was to plus this across, I'll, this is what we'll get on the left hand side. So the left hand side would be 2 eu sine u du. Because remember, there's two loss of this. This plus this is two loss of the integral. You can do that, of course. Equals now the right hand side. So the right hand side would be, in collecting like terms, eu sine u minus cos u. So I'm just collecting terms now. And of course, lastly, from this point, we could just divide it by 2. And hence, we would have our actual integral 
solution. So this is kind of just a manipulation, which is pretty cool in my opinion. It actually works really nicely. And there you have it. And don't forget the, the plus C. Can't forget this guy. You know, everyone forgets him and you end up losing a mark in C1 and other things. And that's it. Well, actually, we still need to replace. Replacing this gives you X over 2 times sine log u minus cos, sorry, log x minus cos log x plus c. And there you have it, guys. Integrating by substitution by parts to get this beautiful solution right here. Thanks again, guys, and leave a comment if you need any more videos, and I will make it. Adios.